My customer stored almost one terabyte of pictures and videos on this hard drive, and she accumulated all of these pictures and videos from her kids growing up since 2005. One day, her cat jumped on the table and in one swipe of her paw, knocked the hard drive to the ground. The hard drive immediately stopped working and she was devastated. She sent the hard drive to one of those big box data recovery companies and they told her that nothing was recoverable and tears were pouring down her face. She saw one of our pre previous videos about a cat knocking a hard drive off the table, so she gave us a call and sent it in. Let's see if we can save these pictures of her kids growing up from babies to adulthood. When we open the hard drive, we can see a bunch of stuff on the top platter. So let's take off this magnetic plate and remove the reading heads. When we look at the edge of the platters, we can see some markings that the previous company made with a sharpie. These markings were made to keep platter alignment, but this particular hard drive doesn't need to be aligned. So now we know that the previous company took out the platters, which is amazing. So let's use this suction tool to remove the top platter. And again, we can see more contamination on the surface. They probably put the platters back with their fingers. Next, we'll need to clean all of the platter surfaces and analyze them for any scratches. This will give us a better idea if the data is actually recoverable. And after cleaning, I didn't see any major damage and the platters look pretty good. So I was confused. Why wasn't this recoverable? Let's grab a good pair of reed heads from a donor drive and install it into this drive. Now let's plug in the hard drive and see what happens. And I can hear the hard drive clicking rapidly. To me, this doesn't sound like normal clicking from failed heads. So let's open the hard drive again and watch what the heads do when we give it power. And look at that. The heads aren't even making it off the ramp. I'm suspecting that the metal pin that the head stack screws into is bent from the drop. So here's the plan. Let's transfer the platter to a brand new chassis and then install another pair of heads. Let's take out the platters from the donor drive and now we have an empty chassis. Then let's take the platters that contain the data and install them into the new chassis. Finally, let's install a good pair of heads and close up the drive. Now let's power on the drive and I don't hear the heads clicking anymore. And when we check our system, we can see that the hard drive shows a proper ID. Let's back up the service area because if we lose that, we're totally Host. When we go to sector edit, we can see that we also have sector access. Let's open data extractor and we can see all of her files. And we can see that there's about 900 gigabytes of data. And after imaging the drive, we recovered almost all of her files. There is only about 15 gigabytes that we couldn't read, which is pretty good considering that the previous company couldn't recover anything. If you need something recovered, the link's in the bio. Peace.